This is math lesson number six. We're going to be getting into land descriptions, some government survey and meets and bounds land descriptions. This is math lesson number six, land descriptions. So here's a description and we want to find how many acres are in it. Number one, the east half of the southwest quarter of the northwest quarter of a section contains how many acres? Whenever you're asked to find how many acres, you don't have to draw a picture. What you want to do is take your scrap paper and write down the description. The east half of the southwest quarter of the northwest quarter of section 10. Then work from right to left, just listing the number of acres in each. So section 10 has 640 acres and the northwest quarter of that contains 160 acres. And then one quarter of 160 acres is 40 acres. And one half of that 40 acres is 20 acres. So whenever you're given a description and you want to find the number of acres, write the description down in your scrap paper, starting on the right with the section 640 acres, and then quartering or halving as the problem tells you. Let's do another one. Number two, the southwest one quarter of the northeast quarter and the west half of the southeast quarter of section 14 contain a total of how many acres? So let's write down our description of the first part, the southwest quarter of the northeast quarter of section 14. Section 14 contains 640 acres, and the northeast quarter of that, like any quarter, contains 160, and the southwest quarter of that, 40 acres. We're not finished because the problem says, and the west half of the southeast quarter of section 14. So we write that description down, and we go from right to left. The section has 640 acres, the southeast quarter 160, we half that, and the west half has 80 acres. And the problem asks, what's the total number of acres? So 40 plus 80 is 120 acres. I really want to emphasize that on these problems, like number one, number two, what you want to do is take your scrap paper, write the description down, the northwest quarter of the southwest quarter of the southeast quarter, whatever the description is. Write that down and then work from right to left, starting with the section 640 acres and quarter it or half it as the description tells you. You don't need to draw a picture. In fact, it's very rare on the examination that you would actually be given a picture and asked to describe a property or actually draw a picture. Number three, what is the distance between the northwest corner of section 21 and the southeast corner of section 29 if both sections are in the same township? So here's our township. Now remember, a township is six miles by six miles. And we number the sections in a township, starting in the upper right, one, two, three, four, five, six, then drop down to seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, drop down to 13, and back and forth. Keep in mind that each section is one mile by one mile. This problem tells us that we're gonna be working in section 21 and section 29, so actually in this four section box here. So I'm gonna take that and blow it up. So on this screen, I have those four sections blown up. Each of these sections, remember, is one mile by one mile. Now the question asks, what's the difference between, or excuse me, what's the distance between the northwest corner, not quarter, northwest corner of section 21? Well, that's right there the northwest corner of section 21, and the southeast corner of section 29. Well, that's the southeast corner of section 29, and the distance between them is two miles. Each section is a mile by a mile, so the distance between those two points is two miles. I want to emphasize the importance of drawing big. 
don't take your scrap paper and draw like little squares and for townships or sections. Use a half a page. Use the whole page. That way, as you break it down into smaller and smaller pieces, you'll still be able to see it. And that way you can label it. So if it's a township, remember, it's six miles by six miles. If it's a section, it's a mile by a mile. So make sure you draw big. Number four, how far west of the meridian is township five north, range three west? So in order to solve this problem, we have to draw our baseline and our meridian. And it says it's township five north. So we go five township lines north of the baseline. Each one of those lines is how far apart? That's right, six miles. And then range three west. So three ranges west of the meridian. And there is township five north, range three west. If you're not sure, just count from the bottom. Here, let me show you with my, with my cursor. Here's township one north, two north, three north, four north, five north. Range one, two, three west. So that's township five north, range three west of the baseline and meridian. And the question asks, how far is that from the meridian? So the meridian being zero and each one of the range lines six miles, that township is 12 to 18 miles west of the meridian. Drawing big and label a diagram is so important. I don't know how many times I've seen students do a question like this on an examination without drawing a picture. And what they'll do is they say, okay, township five north range three west, how far from the meridian? Well, three times six is 18, and they'll pick 18 to 24 as the answer. Meanwhile, 12 to 18 is one of the other answers, and they don't pick that. It boggles the mind, but if you draw the picture and label it, you will get the question right. Number five, find the number of square feet contained in the following meets and bounds description. Beginning at a point, proceed 1,200 feet due south, then 1,500 feet due east, then 600 feet due north, thence northwest to the point of beginning. So it says beginning at a point. So just take your scrap paper and your pencil and start at a point. Then it says proceed 1,200 feet due south, then 1,500 feet due east, then 600 feet due north, and then back to the point of beginning. So what we have here is a trapezoid, but not really, because what we really have here is a rectangle and a triangle. And that triangle is actually half of the bottom rectangle. So let's first find the area of the rectangle. The area of a rectangle is length times width, so it's 1,500 feet times 600 feet, it's 900,000 square feet. So the rectangle's area, 900,000 square feet. Now you can just look at that, and since you know the triangle on the top is half of that rectangle, we know that it's 450,000 square feet. However, let's do the math. The area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. So that's one half times 1,500 times 600. That's 450,000 square feet, which is the area of the triangle. Now the property is a total then of 1,350,000 square feet. This question, of course, is not asking about sections and townships. It just says beginning at a point. So take your scrap paper, put your pencil down on a point, and then proceed. The 1,200 feet due south, the 1,500 feet due east. You've got to know what north, south, east, and west is, what the directions are. Right, but once you do that, as a meets and bounds description, it's got to go back to the point of beginning. So draw your picture. Draw it big label it, and then I hope you would recognize that it's a rectangle and a square, and that recognition makes it a lot easier. And that concludes math lesson number six on land descriptions.